This is the last day of the KDM Victorian High Country Rally. Today we're heading from Dinner Plain and we're heading back to Lake Hume. The first stop along this route is Omeo. We'll duck in there and have some breakfast. From Omeo we sneak onto the two chili breakout and we watch Dan try to do some jumps. And after that breakout we head to Mount Benambra, probably one of the best lookouts I've seen in all of the Victorian high country. Finally we jump into Mitamita, we top up with some fuel and have some lunch before we head back to Lake Hume. Now I shared the accommodation with Dan once again. Now I told the guys that we've got to get up early and we've got to get to Omeo and have some breakfast. <coughs> now I said we've got to get up early so we can beat the KDM guys, but really what I wanted to do is get out of there before Dan managed to go to the bathroom. Oh. It's been an awesome week, but I won't lie, I was looking forward to getting back to Lake Hume and going for a swim. Now all I gotta do is go and sign out, drop the bags off, make sure all the boys are ready, and we'll be on our way. Is um, Trav and Tyson here? Travis just walked past there. Um... After a very chilly road ride, I was looking forward to some hot brekkie and of course a hot coffee. Yep, once again, topping that bladder up with about three litres of water. Yeah, like we, there's nowhere for lunch, is there? No. Oh, no, minimum. Yeah. We can stay here before we stop them for lunch. Yeah, we'll try to, yeah. Here we go, yeah. Yep. Okay. You reckon I'll get busy here? You reckon I'll get busy here? Any you bikes got to get bikes in the driveway? I think I'll make it a bit upset about it. Go in the shop, wrap a towel around it all, and put a strap over it. Trav's got a strap there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. if, he puts a, if he wraps it just in a tea towel or whatever from the shop. <laughs> now I've just got to wait and let the caffeine do its job. Your second coffee then? Oh, I had a shit coffee. Oh, it doesn't count. Not real. Not brown. No, no, no. I just want to make sure that they have a shoot today. They push run. Oh, no, no. I'll be bored, bro. I've got a toilet paper in my bag. Yes, so do I. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't land it with that. No. That's one thing I might need to borrow off you, yeah, I guarantee you. <laughs> After a nice warm brekkie, and a very weird conversation about Dan's bowel movements, we were heading to Mount Penambra. But before we get there, we jump onto this two chilly breakout. This breakout was full of erosion mounds. It was such good fun.
craft. You know, Dan's got a lot of skill and talent when it comes to jumping, so I really needed to watch his technique. As it turns out, Dan showed me exactly what not to do. You use the weight of that bike to go down those hills quicker, don't you? <laughs> I got the funniest video of Dan trying to jump those whoops. Yeah. Every single like whoopy hit, his back tire was about this high, his front was down. <laughs> Beauty. Put on a show for you. Oh yeah. It was it was Ronnie Mack. That's what it was. So after Dan's demonstration. We're heading to Mount Benambra. Nice, flowy, easy tracks. Through some farmland. Should be awesome. Jace, what are you doing? It's not eggs, mate. How's the ride, Jace? How's the ride? How's your how's the ride, Jace? <laughs> you didn't stop when when I was waiting for you guys on the corner. What corner? Yeah. Everyone just rode past. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we come up here, I turned around and just took off. What's that? He goes, oh, that's just a lookout. I'll fucking have a look. Yeah. Now, this is Mount Van Amber Lookout. This lookout is absolutely spectacular. 360 degree views. Check it out. What sort of fish are there? Uh, you've got uh, all, the, all the different types of trout, so brown and rainbow mate. Yeah. And um, some reddies, yep. uh, a few yellow bellies, not many, but I like to destroy the yellow belly out of there. Yep. Yeah. Nah. Come on, you idiot! <laughs> Hurry up! Oh, <laughs> on the way down, sit on the rail and ride it. Seventy-six times I've called an emergency number. Seventy-six times. What? It's in the back of my bike. Locked. Now, with the emergency number, I think you can just do it any time. Stopped at the corner and then he went. Nah, because there was another slow dude I called. Nah, there was one guy. There was one guy stayed in front of me for like twenty minutes. Yeah. That's why it took you what twenty minutes to pass me. Because no, I was go I was just. At right at the end of your dust and I thought fuck like either you're wicking it up on every corner or or you're just going slower so no nah, there's just a dude on and then <coughs> and, and past me when we started passing people again. Yeah. Well I got sick of listening to Dan's bucket of excuses why he rides so slow. Decided to set my music, sort out the map and get out of here. Here it was a short run down the mountain to Mittermitter. There we were going to get some fuel, some lunch, and a light beer. And while I didn't know it at this stage, Tyson was preparing to show me his scared little kid voice. Yeah. Have you 
guys doing? Getting some food, big fella. Coach Paul. Oh, oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, no, you're all right. What are you getting? It's cool, huh? Oh, what have we got there? That boxy thing out. See if you can get it. No, no, no. No, I'm just going to get the scotchy. Yeah. What's that, eh? I'm really going to dare the spirits here. Right. Alright. I'm going to get the tar. I need to go down the tar. I am. No. There is literally a shortcut this way out of town. I'm not even joking. Love okay. All right, because I'm not doing that road with a million people. No. Right, there's a shortcut. Just us. We'll duck down the other way of town. Go join onto another road. Keep going until the tar. Right, and then we'll join the other guys. No, it's not. Trust me. Would I ever let you down? No, he actually hasn't. That's right. You no, no, there you go. With, with so trust our me. roids, you have to. Okay, just relax. Take a deep breath. You'll be fine. <laughs> you see? Yeah, I'm going to wash my rod here. I think they've got to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll stop them up there. Fuel and food, and that's a big farm road. It's a nice place out. Like, it'll be quite fucking dusty. Yeah, it'll be as dusty as that road. Right, but there's only going to be six of us. Come to here and then. I use it every week, mate. Yeah, so, yeah, and that's a nice little trail for you there, actually. And made multiple soaks. Yeah. You said the food is. Better than going around that way. Poor Tyson was terrified. But how good am I convincing him he'll be okay? So here we are at the end of the shortcut, safe and sound. Yeah, so did you see all the dust on the ridge line from the KDM rally? Oh no. Yeah. It's just thinking far out. No, it didn't Tyson come with us, but Trav didn't. Yeah, I thought Tyson was, but he must be behind. No, Tyson said he was coming. Yeah. So it's mind. just road now in, so we'll just wait for Tyson and then... Oh, is that it? Yeah. And we'll rejoin the sort of KDM rally up here. And then, um... Yeah. Did you indicate when you made it sort of peel off? Or? Sorry? Huh? How, will you indicate where I peel off? Have you got a, the KDM rally in your GPS? So when we go over the water, you're going to sort of turn right and then left, but we're just going to turn left and follow the road around. Good planning now, mostly groove for us. Yeah, mate. Yep. Yeah, I rang him up. You know, when we were just having a steak at the pub. Yeah, so just like that other track. Wait. <laughs> Fuck me dead, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say thank you for grooming that, just like the uh, Blake Cobbler track. Fuck, you've been kiss on the cock, haven't you? All right, so, you know. Good time. Oh, geez, you've had a lucky ride with me. Fucking hell. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, you haven't, but Tyson has. So, the road back in, cross the water, we'll turn left and follow the lake around. I think Alex is going to go over the dirt road into the dust. And uh, yeah, we'll meet back. Come on the lake view. Nah, I saw it on the way in. No, we didn't come that way. No. Nah. It just looks the same from the other side. No, it doesn't. It nah. South, not north. Yeah. yeah. No, we'll right. see. I'll meet you there. All right. We're on the home stretch now. Just a bit of tar, and we've been in at Lake Hume. What a fantastic ride. It's an 
awesome feeling when you're picking your bags up on the last day. Your bike's in one piece, your body's in mostly one piece, and all you've got to do now is sit back and relax, have a few beers, and talk about how good the ride was. Good job, Tyson. You well, made it all the way through. You did well. Thanks. Good man. job, Craig. You did well again. You know, it's just what happens. Yeah. I think uh, it's all a myth. What's that? Your navigation skills. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. It's great. It's not a problem. Yeah. There's a bunch of liars out there. You just yeah. don't listen to them. The only thing on my mind at this stage is grabbing a couple of cold beers and jumping in that pool. done today wasn't dusty either which is good barely got any dust on me and pack all this up go have a swim Engine, all right, push. so you're going to be all right? No, what do you mean no engine? You reckon we'll make it? Yeah. You might push it up there. Here you go. go. Hold go, that. Go. Hold that. There you go. All right. You got to get up. You got to close up. Go, go, go. Ready? Don't stop. Go, go, go. 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 <laughs> Eddie He's a professional. Now we get to it when I get the camera out. It's just unbelievable. You better not drop my bike, I haven't dropped it all week. All week. Time for a swim, boys. I'm going for a swim. used to your fucking heated swim spa. <laughs> you set at fucking 23.5 degrees. Yes, off the swim spa is set to 37. <laughs> That's cold. My pool's like 30. It's probably not as cold as that river we went in. Oh, that was that was cold.
but I'm not. Man. Hey, give Tyson a thumbs up. Look. He's like, where are you? But on the same, if you go enduro ride, you, you, you can feel it. Uh, what oh, what did you do? Fuck me! Cuddles! Yeah, you can sit on my face. <laughs> Lightweight to later. Oh, fuck, that was on camera too. <laughs> Here we are at the KDM dinner. Now, Dan didn't need his KDM entry band anymore and wanted it cut off. Alex was happy to do that. Although Jason decided to tighten it up just that little bit more before Alex could cut it off. Really, his hands going blue. Fucking <laughs> dickhead. Who needs mates? Don't cut it out. Don't cut it. Hey. Thank you. My head just be like it's a 360 camera you've got here. All week, all week he's been sitting like this. Yeah, I'm hungry. 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 Let's show the back of my head. Is that that's the that's back of my head. And that's the front of the head. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's, that's definitely making a video. That's making a video. Anyway, cheers, boys. Cheers. Oh, we made it. Good trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not sure how many beers Dan had had at this stage, but given the way he eats beans, I'd say it's probably more than half a dozen. What was your best track of the day or the week? Uh, look, for, for I guess the technical side, I reckon the one and track was the best track. For the best adventure day was the day we had to swim in the river. That's what I reckon. Yeah, that, yeah for sure. Yeah. That trial was still pretty good, a bit dusty, but the trial was yeah. good. Good ride, playing the river. Yeah. I reckon that's, to me, that's adventure riding. So I should have gotten bitten by the black snake to really, you know. I've never seen you move so far. <laughs> no one else seen this black snake. No. Uh, especially when there's a big black thing coming up, you normally don't move yeah. at all. <laughs> I'm normally hunting them down. I was going to say, you're back to his, not going to lie. Yeah, there's a fucking black snake, I'm telling you. <laughs> The one the Savo was alright, up the second gate. That was a bit flowy up and down. Yeah, you were right up the, right the hill, of course. And not much dust there. Yeah. And that's when I was on full go mode, because I thought I was catching, trying to catch you still. Yeah. Come on, man. Look at the shit. You're fucking out of here. I would have been. Because I didn't see where it stopped. I've watched it. I took my part on the corner, I took my helmet off. And then you're like, you know. You didn't see it? So that one and gutter track, how remote is that? Like, middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, middle of nowhere. And then you've got all this bush and it's just a big clear valley. Yeah. Like, so the way I come out is essentially the quickest way to get out, right? And it's still an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, with more than an hour to get out. And I liked it longer because I didn't know which way I was going to yeah. stop and turned around, freaked out. That's not a bad you have, Mary? <laughs> you had your paper notes. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't find the street names, man. They're not real signposts. Well. If you watch the news, he wouldn't have gone up to a, a strange, weird guy and said, no. Hey, man, I'm lost uh, and I'm all by myself and <laughs> all, my guys have left, all my mates have left me. <laughs> Um, they don't even know where I am. And How do I get out of here? That drone well, pretty much exactly what I said. Oh, so no one knows you're here. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, I'll just tell you really quickly. The money. Um, generally, we'd like to do this after a rally. We will donate it to a charity or we'll put it across the bar. But this time, um, we are going to give it back to our race safe family. Um, for the first three rallies that we ever had here in Australia, one of the race safe medics, Paul Bellman, was a familiar face and a lot of you guys would, would know Paul. And unfortunately, Paul had a heart attack last year and we lost him. 
So tonight, all the proceeds that we make from selling the shirts will go to his kids. Um, he's got two kids who are age 10 and 11, so we want to give back to them because Paul is always really good to us. So if you guys want a spare shirt, you know the money is going to a good place. Um, and yeah, nominate for your awards and we will kick off the wrap up in probably 45 minutes. Thank you everyone, enjoy your show. So I think a massive round of applause for everybody to get to the finish line today. <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck, man. Good luck, man. And, and a very notable mention to our coastal KTM dealer, Daniel Lindsay, for making it to the end. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> How many rallies have you done, Dan? Uh, 2.1. 2.1. So you made it to the finish of two and yeah. not the other? Yeah. Okay, well we're glad that everyone is here. We've had an absolutely amazing week and speaking of our KTM dealers, I would like you guys to put your hands together for the dealers that made the effort to come out here and ride for the week with their customers. We had, uh, we had dealers from Peter Stevens, Bolton's, Traugen, Motorworks, Gasmoto, and Coastal KTM. These are the guys that are making your dreams happen when it comes to the KTM products. So thank you to the KTM Dealer Network for supporting this event. Good work, man. So you came for us and didn't come for a pizza. Thank you. And I will ask for oh, 10% of your um, uh, food. The most amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, fucking idiot. All right. Wait till the witnesses go. A delay. Put on your dings again. Oh my god, that. <laughs> Billy really broke. Throw the glass at him. Throw the glass at him. <laughs> He'll catch it. You watch. It's like a trick you've got going. That's it. I'll turn this off because all this incriminating evidence. And that's it. After a massive night, we're up early and we're heading back home. KDM Rally. Day five. Final day done. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.